Happy New Year 2022, beloved people of God. Today, I would like to share a brief message to welcome this wonderful new season that we find ourselves in, as well as I have an announcement to make. Uh, starting January 11, 2022, I will be holding online live meetings on our YouTube channel called Church of Less Words, More Actions. This could possibly branch out to other social media networks as the need arises, such as on Zoom meetings where the interactions are better. But to start with, for now, I am going uh, to start holding these meetings on YouTube. So again, I am going to start holding live meetings on YouTube using our channel Church of Less Words, More Actions. And those meetings will be held on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So Tuesdays and Saturdays. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 4 p.m. For those who would be interested uh, about the start date, it will start on January 11, 2022. So in about, I believe, two weeks from now. And it will be held every week, twice a week, uh, on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So again, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. in the evening and Saturdays at 4 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. What can you expect? In those live meetings, I will have a short message followed by prayers for anyone who would like to receive a prayer or encouragement or a prophetic word as the Lord leads me. Um, and uh, if you'd like to get updates as well as pa participate in the live meetings, of course, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to see immediately when I come on the platform. Um, I have been extensively uh, trained uh, in the past few years by uh, the church as well as I have been formally trained uh, at the seminary level. Uh, I'm currently doing my Doctor of Ministry in uh, Leadership and Communication, as well as uh, Pastoral Ministry. So um, I have a lot of uh, information. I have a lot of uh, wisdom, I have a lot of knowledge, I have a lot of impartations, a lot of gifts I would like uh, to impart to others. I would like to share with other people. Uh, my topics will be uh, as vast as how to hear God's voice, how to meditate, how to be quiet before the Lord and receive from the Lord, uh, topics such as uh, spiritual warfare, um, uh, I would I will talk about topics such as dreams and visions and prophetic ministry. Uh, I will also cover uh, uh, topics like sin, grace, redemption, the church. Uh, I will share uh, what I know about the history of the church. Um, how it started, how it came to be, and uh, where we are at right now, and many, many, many other topics that uh, that we are going to be really blessed by all of us. Uh, if you are specially located in the Brockville, Kingston, Ottawa, and uh, Cornwall areas in Ontario, so that would be Eastern Ontario, and you currently do not have a church to call home, I would really encourage you to link up with us. Uh, we would love to hear from you and partner with you. Uh, if uh, Because we're gonna start online, of course, I would welcome anyone that is 
outside of those areas as well, even as far as Ethiopia, my home country. Uh, but I would especially like uh, to uh, partner with people in our immediate area because we are going to have a physical church uh, as soon as the Lord allows us. Uh, so we would like, we would love to hear from you. Uh, contact me, contact us, uh, and uh, God bless you ahead of time for doing this. Um, I believe it will be a time of mutual growth and sweet fellowship together, as well as doing God's work and proclaiming the kingdom of God. All right. Now I am going to go to the message that is on my heart for this uh, New Year 2022. So if you have your Bible and if you could open it to the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 6, we're going to read verses 10 to 13. So Ephesians 6, 10 to 13. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. I sense that we live in a time where a lot of people feel that they are under tremendous attack. Obviously, the unrelenting uh, COVID-19 is a classic example of this. How should we respond as children of God? Well, let me ask you the question personally. Do you feel that you are under attack? No matter how hard you try, you find that you are not advancing in life. You take one step ahead, but then you go back two steps backward or you sense in your spirit there's something huge about to break out, something uh, good, maybe a promotion, maybe a favor, maybe a blessing. Maybe you've prayed about something for a long th time. You've been seeking the face of God. You've been requesting this, this thing for a long time. You've been fasting. You've been praying. But then something happens, maybe beyond your control, in your family, like it could be strife, it could be arguments, it could be quarrels, it could be anything really. And suddenly your peace is stolen, your joy is taken, or you get sick, or someone you love is going through a really hard time. Or it could be at your workplace, uh, you're expecting to be promoted, you're expecting to, be, to, to advance, and the complete opposite of, of that happens and you find yourself in a place that is the exact opposite of what was promised to you uh, in his word by God. So all of this, in all of this, you're left wondering what just happened. Of course, this leaves you frustrated, angry, disappointed, sad, or even makes you doubt God's love for you. Well, beloved, I want you to know that if you are going through any of the scenarios that I just described, you are not alone. And true, the Bible tells us that in this world, we will have many troubles. So don't get me wrong. I am not saying that things should always be rosy and smooth sailing. This is not about promising you a trouble-free life. But staying in trouble time and time again 
and not progressing, not advancing in life is definitely not okay. If you know God, if you have surrendered your life to him and you know that you are walking in uprightness, that is, you are feeding on his word, on God's word, you are praying, you are fasting, you are spending quality time with God, you are walking in repentance and forgiveness, you are living according to God's word, I want to tell you, you have not been called to a defeated life. You have not been called to be sick. You have not been called to be defeated. You have not been called to be frustrated, disappointed, or feel overwhelmed, alone, or isolated all the time. You have not been called to stay in the same, in the same dead-end job while others pass you by. You have not been called to stay in the same job even though you have already quit. In a nutshell, you have not been called to a mediocre life. The Bible says in James 4, James chapter 4, Submit yourselves to God and resist the devil and he will free from you. I want to take this opportunity to remind you that we have a real enemy in this world. But I have good news for you. That enemy is not your spouse. It is not your children. It is not your friend. It is not your teacher. It is not your neighbor. It is not even your boss. Your enemy behind most of your troubles as long as you have submitted yourself to God and you know that you are walking uprightly in righteousness. If you haven't, we have another problem and that is a topic for another day. But if you know that you are doing what you're supposed to do, you love God, you love people, you uh, are spending time with God, you are reading your Bible, you are praying, you are, as far as you are concerned, you are uh, dedicated a true Christian, true believer, then behind most of your troubles, probably there is something, and that something is not flesh and blood. So we are going to pray together. We are going to resist the devil, and as the Bible promises, he will flee from us, just like the word that I just read. God words, God's word is always true. You know, the Bible says that God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? That's a rhetorical question that the Bible asks us, and that's actually in Numbers 23, 19, because if God has said it, then it means that it is true. It's, as, it's, it's that serious. So, brothers and sisters, as we welcome the new year 2022, I would like to remind you, stop being ignorant, shy, or lazy when it comes to the devil. Use your God-given authority. God has given you something and he expects you to use it. The devil is powerful, but he is defeated. He's a defeated foe. He was defeated when Jesus died on the cross. Now, all authority and power belong to Jesus. The God of peace has crushed Satan and he has put him where he truly belongs, under your feet, my feet, under our feet. So try to visualize, visualize that for a moment. In uh, Luke 10, verses 10 to 19, Jesus tells his disciples, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the, en of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. It doesn't say some of the power of the enemy. It says to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. So do you consider yourself a disciple of Jesus? If you do, tell the devil to pack up 
and get out of your life, to get out of your body, to get out of your business, to get out of your uh, relationships, to get out of your family, to get out of your workplace, to get out of your ministry, to get out of, of your life, of your neighborhood, even out of your country. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And that is the promise that we have in the word of God. And it is time, I believe in 2022, we should take those promises seriously and we should exercise our authority as children of God. We should be able to say, Satan, enough is enough. Devil, enough is enough. You are not going to get me. You are not going to have me. You are not going to have my family. You are not going to have my country. You are not going to win. You are defeated. The specific prayer came to me while I was spending time with God. I believe it is an anointed prayer. So be in an attitude of prayer and together let us uh, tell Satan, our enemy, let us tell him together, enough is enough. I will start praying in tongues. Uh, you can join me if you have that gift. But if not, just use your own words or just, you know, repeat after me. Sometimes I also tend to pray in Amharic. Amharic, that is my mother tongue. So sorry ahead of time for those of you who do not understand it. Just consider it as another type of tongue. Sometimes I do hear prayers specifically in Amharic in my head or in my heart. So I think it's powerful to say them exactly as I hear them or exactly as I have received them. But above all, I beseech you, don't be a spectator. I am definitely not here to entertain people. And there are many avenues that you can go to be entertained, thanks to the internet. So be serious, participate with all your might, and I promise you, because God is not man that he should, should not lie and because not he's not a human being that he should change his mind you will start seeing things shifting in your life we shall start things shifting in our lives so be in an attitude of prayer beloved and let us pray together Rakala siara po toloro kopo siere kata siere alara po kotolo rioroso ratiriere kasa lara po toloro se reta lara kapo soro kotioro posa Hallelujah rakata laria rapo soto rese tere keti alara po soro pota la se tiara kapo sa rakapo toloro kopo siara kata liara po soro kota Every beast that follows us and devours our blessings out in Jesus' name. Out. Every blessing devouring beast. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ out of my life, out of my family, out of my business, out of my workplace in Jesus' name. Be cancelled. I cancel your activity. I completely nullify your activity in my life. I nullify your activity in my body in Jesus' name. <speaking in Hebrew> የተከታተልክ በረከታችንን የምትበላ አንተ አውሬ በጌታ በኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ስም አዛhallው ወጣ ከህይወታችን ውስጥ ወጣ ከቢዝነሳችን ውስጥ ወጣ ከአገልግሎታችን ውስጥ ወጣ በኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ስም out every blessing devouring spirit i command you spit out our blessings right now in jesus name every roaring lion that is devouring our blessings 
out in Jesus' name. Be destroyed. Be removed from our lives. Be removed from our businesses. Be removed from our relationships. Be removed from our studies. Be removed from our bodies. Be removed from our neighborhoods. Be removed from our countries in Jesus' name. Out from our marriages. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that has come out to attack us, to attack me, to attack my family. You are stabbed by the arrows of God in Jesus' name. And in Nabat Betasabuchi Lamat Katiwa tu Kawa Gu Bagate Habe Jesus Christosum Kawa Gu Bagate Habe Jesus Christosum every spirit, every foul spirit, every devil, every Satan. Every serpent that has come out to devour every good thing that God has released into my life. Right now, I command you, you are defeated out of my business. Out, pack up your stuff and get out of my life in Jesus' name. I call on our blessings from the north. The south, the east, and the west, I declare and decree that we are blessed. We are blessed when we go out. We are blessed when we come in. We are blessed when we go to sleep. We are blessed when we wake up. We are blessed when we eat. We are blessed when we play. We are blessed when we rest. We are blessed when we work. We are blessed when we are ministering to people, we are blessed. When we are shopping, we are blessed. When we are spending time with God, we are blessed. At, in every situation, we are blessed. Blessings come and overtake us. Blessings come and find us. Blessings are our portions. The word of God has said it. We are the head. We are not the tail. We go forward. We don't go backwards. Truck full of blessings are our portions. God ordained blessings. Come and find us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. There are so many things that are written about blessings in the Bible. One such passage is found in Proverbs 10.22. If you go to your Bible in Proverbs 10.22, you can read, The blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. How many of you are working so hard, but you have nothing to show for it? Do you think that is normal? And you can blame it on anyone you want. You can blame it on the system. You can blame it on this and that. But if you are doing what you're supposed to do, there is no reason for you not to be blessed, not to advance, not to progress, unless there is something. And that something starts as you start to demolish strongholds, to demolish the work of the enemy on your life. When you start taking the word of God seriously, if God has ordained it, who can resist it? If God has commanded it for us, his dear children, members of his family, who can stop us? If God is for us, who can be against us? So declare with me, saints. Blessings have come in. Blessings are my portions. Success is in. Breakthrough is in. Progress is in. Joy is in. Peace is in. I have peace in my house. I have peace in my relationships. I have peace in my body. I have peace. I have promotions. I have the blessings of God. I have wealth. I have been blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Do not let the devil steal it from you, from your family. 
declare it, expect it, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Be abundantly blessed. I love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And make sure to let me know when you have great, great testimonies after praying together with me. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Finally, beloved, be encouraged. Be full of hope. Never give up. No matter what the pressure, no matter what the trouble, no matter the hole you find yourself in, do not give up. We serve a faithful God who can see us through any challenge we may be going through. We may be weeping now, but surely joy comes in the morning. That is the promise of God. So blessings and glory and wisdom and power and thanksgiving and honor and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen and amen. Bye for now, beloved.